she is cute, cute. What? She is definitely cute. What's up, divas and divos? So, you guys, there is a new wig website out in town, okay? And they call themselves New York City Express Trends, okay? So I honestly thought it was like a clothing company or something like that, you know, when they hit me up. And I was like ready for the fashion. But when I looked at the website, it's like a whole massive load of wigs. So you'll definitely have to check the link below. So you guys, I'm not really sure how new they are, but they are fairly new. And they have like a bunch of wigs on their website. I did see a lot of main concept wigs on there, but there was a lot of pages. So I really didn't look through too many, but I do know there are a lot of main concept concept and brown sugar collection wigs so if you guys are into that particular brand and you absolutely love that particular brand you'll definitely want to check out nyc trends express or express trends you know what i'm saying oh. i did pick out one which i just saw it and was like the color is so pretty like i want this sandy blonde wig i don't really even care if it's like one of those vixen style versatile lace wigs where it has parting you know in four ways i don't really care about that because I don't do those styles in those wigs. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do those styles in those wigs because the hairline on the wigs are not, they're not always that great to be able to do all those different styles. It just still looks even more faker if you were to do like cornrows or certain styles with those wigs just because the hairline is very thick. And it's kind of hard to just tweeze sometimes a lace front it's that synthetic. So I don't really worry about all this. All I know is I seen the color girl and I was like, yas, hunty, yas, hunty, yas, hunty. I need this. It's the Brown Sugar Collection Versatile Lace Wig. And her name is, or uh, she don't even got no name, okay? Her style is BSX06. So I'll definitely link it below for you guys. But this, this color is like gorgeous. Like I'm saying though and you know what it's a nice density so it's not all lightweight it's kind of like heavy not in a bad way but you know you got some hair going on and it is an sr2 so it's like sombre number two with um sandy blonde hair i like the color of the roots they're not too dark which is a plus they're very nicely like kind of like ombre in and in the back you do have like some baby hairs though i should have think that they would have made them like a the brown color that's just my opinion. And inside, you do have the two combs in the front and the comb and adjustable strap in the nape. And like I was saying, this is one of those wigs that you can just part all the way to the nape, which is great. I mean, like, I like that. And then there is the parting across, which I can never seem to find, okay? But they do separate it for you by putting, like, a little ponytail here and with a rubber band. So that's how they separate it for you. So you guys, I'm I'm like really anxious about this wig because I just really do like the color a lot. And it is 30 inches, hunties. Yes. They wrote it on the stock cards. This is probably gonna be dumb long on me for real. Like so I already went ahead and cut the um, the lace off and there was also lace in the back so if you did want to you know adhere it in the back you can do so. I'm not gonna be doing all of that. I'm gonna put her on as a middle part. We're gonna see how she rock out because I'm All right, you guys, this wig is definitely hitting, okay? I don't know if it's because of the color or the texture or the fullness or the length, 
but this is one beautiful wig by brown sugar like seriously this wig is gorgeous i love the sandy blonde this is like a very pretty wig you know what I'm saying? It's very full. It's nice and full. And the hair texture is a human hairstyle mix, which I will give it to them. It definitely feels like human hair, okay? Like this wig is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know about the other colors, but I do know that this Sandy Blonde, let me tell y'all, she's just fabulous. This wig is definitely fabulous, okay? So the only issue that I have, and it's not anything really major like that, is this piece right here, the track is kind of like messed up, kind of like, you know, so I would have to, God knows what I would have to do to it, but um, it's, that's the only issue I'm having. So it kind of like peaks up right there. So I have to constantly keep pulling it down and the other side doesn't feel like that. So I'll have to kind of like figure this one out because I actually do really, really like this wig a lot. I, you see, I didn't even bother styling it because, or not even styling it, but you know, putting it up in like one of those ponytails or whatever, because for one, this is 30 inches of hair, honey. That's a lot to be doing. I mean, like maybe I could corn roll it. Let's see. I mean, I guess you can get away with this somewhat, but here is my take on corn rolling this. I would definitely pull out some hairs on the side only because you know it's a blunt cut the hairline is not natural looking because it's very dense at the hairline so i mean i'm not worried about it because i don't think i'll wear this wig any other way but like this this is like an amazing wig what wig do this is definitely like a wig do for any ash blonde or sandy blonde wig i don't care if i didn't review it or whatever i'm saying that because it looks so like realistic like this looks so human hair like like seriously that's this is what is catching my eye but it does shed a little bit but i'm not even worried about that because if it shed then hey you can go buy you a new one because it is synthetic honeys oh excuse me human hair style mix whatever this is gorgeous like serious Ooh. i'm like loving this color okay this color is everything like seriously and if I could get the hair color to be just this color, you know, because I've gotten it like a shade lighter than this or maybe a little bit lighter than this. But if I could get it to be this exact color, then I would be like so happy. Like seriously, I'll be so happy. I'm not really sure how I feel about the little swoop thing in the middle. I only did that because I see like a lot of girls do that when they have a part in the middle. We know it's a wig and I think they're trying to kind of like camouflage that. That's the only reason why I did that. And plus I have a long head. Like you guys know my head is long. So I think that's the reason why I could wear like a lot of wigs because I don't have like missing forehead. You know how some people's foreheads are very short. So they don't have a lot of room for like a lace wig to glue it down or what have you. But mine's I could definitely glue it down like right here and I would still look like I got like average size forehead so you know I have a lot of I have a long head but oh child this wig is amazing like I absolutely love this color it's nice and full and I like like these very very loose I'm not there I'm, but I'm almost there waves girl listen if you don't do anything today or tomorrow or sometime this week if you don't buy yourself anything, buy this. This might not be your color, but it definitely is like the wig is bomb. Like I'm loving the texture, the density, the length. I don't really do 30 inches, but girl, this is a nice length. It, you know what? To be honest, this really doesn't look like 20, uh, 30 inches to me. Maybe if someone was shorter, this really reminds me of like probably like 26. Okay. But 30 inches is a little bit too much for me, but this, okay. I would probably prefer a little bit shorter, like maybe like I don't know, like right here, that would probably be good for me because I don't be liking them too long sometimes, it depends, but I like this one, this length, you know what I'm saying? What I'm going to do with this one is once it get really old and tangled at the ends and I can't do nothing else with it, I'm going to cut the ends. But until then, I'm going to wear this 30 inch hunty slash 26 inch hunty synthetic human hairstyle mix lace front by Brown Sugar. This is absolutely gorgeous. I want to know what you guys think of this one. Like this looks like an amazing wig dupe. Like it looks so natural. It looks so realistic. I'm just teed off about this piece, but you know what? Your girl's going to find a way to fix that. I'm definitely going to find a way to fix that. You know what I mean? I definitely am. 
So you guys, let me know what you think of this one here by Brown Sugar Collection. I will link all the information below where you can pick her up. Check the new website out, NYC Trends Express or Express Trends. NYC Express Trends, check them out. They have a lot of units on their website, so take your time and look. Yes, hunties, I am going to go now. I feel like I am like on an expensive kind of like tip today. I'm feeling, well, you know what? This hair is making me feel expensive. This is definitely bougie on a budget hair. Like for real, you could definitely get, girl, people will be like, oh, you got some nice hair. Yes. So I love you guys. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think of this color, CNZ Blonde. And I will see you guys on the other side. She's cute. Hello. Oh, honey. What I like that. Okay. Now this is what I'm talking about. She is definitely cute.